so much for joining us tonight. My name is uh, Pastor Steve Brandt. I'm the pastor here at New Life E Free. And uh, whether you are part of the New Life Church family or joining us uh, from another community, another state, we welcome you tonight to a special call to prayer, a season of prayer uh, for the coronavirus pandemic. Our, uh, our elders here at New Life believe strongly that one of our uh, responses to what's going on in our nation, in our uh, globe, is prayer. Uh, prayer of the believer is uh, one of our needed, uh, appropriate responses. So I hope you are finding some time to be praying on your own. Uh, we wanted to have this time of corporate prayer. It's not ideal. Ideally, we would be together in person, uh, but I'm thankful that we can during this time. So uh, maybe you're by yourself, maybe you're gathered with your family, uh, whatever the case may be, thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight in prayer. If you have any comments before I forget, if uh, the sound can be better for you or the picture, uh, let us know and uh, we'd be happy to do as much as we can. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to read Psalm chapter 20. If you have a Bible with you, you can join me in Psalm 20. Uh, I will read that in a moment and then open us in prayer. Uh, then we will enter our time of corporate prayer. I'm going to give you 10 different topics concerning the uh, coronavirus and, uh, and about three minutes to pray for each of those topics. Um, first of all, we're going to start with just a time of, of offering our thanksgiving and praise uh, to our wonderful God. And then we'll move through uh, nine different topics specifically concerning the pandemic. And I just want to list those for you just so you kind of know what's, what's coming up here. We're going to start with just a, a call, a prayer to the Lord to, to end the pandemic for his healing hand. Uh, then we're going to pray for the, the global community uh, outside of the United States uh, for the sick and mourning, meaning those who have lost someone. Then we will pray for the local sick and mourning. Uh, then we'll move into the topic of just those who have been affected locally, especially concerning uh, you know, their job situation, for example. Uh, we will pray for our, uh, our health care providers, our governing leaders, uh, our church family. And if you're uh, part of another local church, you can use that time to pray for your church. Uh, then open doors for the gospel, that the church would shine during this time. And then I'm going to close it kind of in the way we started with just a, another uh, focus on asking the Lord to, uh, to bring an end to the, the pandemic. So I'm going to kind of bookend our time with, with those uh, topics. After those topics, I'll just simply close us in prayer. So... Uh, let me read Psalm 20 for us. You can follow along if you want or just listen. And I uh, just want to use this time to prepare our hearts for prayer. So I will read and then I'll, I'll uh, pray for us. Psalm chapter 20. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all of your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O oh Lord, save the king. May he answer us when we call. Would you join me in prayer, please?
Our Heavenly Father, we just take these moments to, uh, to quiet our hearts before you. To focus our, our minds on you. To cast our cares of the day upon you. Lord, in the life of, of the believer in Jesus Christ, the follower of Christ, your disciples, prayer is vital. We recognize that um, during all seasons of life. But we especially take tonight and, and pray and focus on what's going on um, with the pandemic uh, around us. Hear our prayers. As David writes in, in this psalm we just read, we trust in you. Uh, there is no other name given to us uh, that we can put our, put our trust in than the Lord our God, the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, our comforter, our guide, our teacher. Lord, I pray that you would not only hear us tonight in our prayers to you, but that you would use this time to focus our hearts on you on your power, on your goodness, on your mercy. On our beautiful Savior, Jesus. And it's in his name that we pray these things. Amen. Thank you again for joining us tonight. I want to move us uh, into our first topic uh, of prayer. First of uh, nine more to come on the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, I think you might be seeing some some slides come up on your feed. I, I hope that might be the case. Um, if you if that happens and you look at the bottom left hand corner, you will see a timer, a three minute timer on each of these slides, and uh, you can just use that to kind of see where we're at in terms of moving on to the next subject. But first, I want to start us in just a, a season of praise, offering uh, our praise to God. Uh, praise for who he is, his character, his attributes, uh, and praise for what he has done uh, for you specifically and, of course, uh, for what he has done in general in terms of his wondrous deeds and, most, uh, most importantly, of course, the, the death and resurrection of his son, Jesus. So if you want to um, read a scripture at this time, I might recommend Psalm 135, 1 through 7. Psalm 135, 1 through 7, just a great section that talks about uh, our need to praise our God. And so if you see that slide perhaps coming up now, um, we will start to pray here and, and just take these three minutes, if you would please, and let's offer our praise to God.
Again, thank you for joining us tonight. If you're if you're just popping in, we are uh, as a church, New Life E Free, um, taking some time to specifically pray together uh, for the coronavirus pandemic. I want to move us on to uh, our next area of prayer, and that would just be simply uh, crying out to God for the end of the virus. Psalm 103, verse 3 says, bless the Lord, O my soul. That's the start of it. And then verse 3 says this phrase, who heals all of your diseases. So I would just have us uh, meditate on that truth about our God that he, uh, in this area of prayer, please. I'd like us to take some time tonight to specifically pray just for um, the nations. Um, I um, am a little bit ashamed to admit, and I've, and I've said this to some folks just in conversation, that I, I, um, I don't know that I prayed for this um, illness until it hit our country. And... Um, I feel, I regret that I just didn't have more of a heart for the nations in this and what, what they have been suffering, uh, those countries outside of our own. I have my phone uh, with me here as I'm talking to you, and that number of confirmed cases is now over 467,000. These numbers, by the way, that you're seeing were from this morning, so this is just in uh, a few hours. The deaths uh, worldwide are now over 21,000. And uh, another country um, was added to the list today. It's had 173. And then I just listed for us some of the nations, the top 10 that have been hit the hardest. Uh, obviously, the United States is third, so I left that off for now. 
uh, but China, Italy, Spain, Germany, Iran, France, Switzerland, South Korea, and the UK, and, and maybe you have friends or family in those countries, maybe the Lord would just lay one of those countries especially on your heart right now to pray for, but would you join me in, in focusing our prayers on the global sick, those who are sick in other nations, and those who are mourning uh, because of a loss of a loved one from this pandemic. So let's pray for this, please. I would uh, ask that we transition now into um, praying specifically for our country. You um, see some numbers listed there. I can update you uh, that there are now over 65,000 uh, cases in the United States. I don't have an updated number of deaths, but I'm sure it's more than what it was this morning, 785. You see kind of the top five states there. Perhaps the Lord would lead you to pray for one of those states specifically. Um, we have uh, one death in the state of Iowa. I think we are around 140 cases now, roughly. Um, four cases in Tama County. And I, if I saw correctly, I think two more since this morning cases in Powashi County. So that might be four as well now. Um, so folks, would you, would you please join me in, in just uh, crying out to the Lord for our nation in particular uh, and our state of Iowa and, and our community, whatever community uh, you are in. Let's pray for them.
Thank you again for joining us tonight. We are about halfway through our uh, topics of prayer. I'd like to take some time and just uh, pray for what I called here the local people affected. Um, we've, we've just prayed globally and locally for people who are sick and, and mourning. Um, but of course, this uh, pandemic has, has affected people's lives um, in many different ways. So I just put there, pray for those in our communities who are experiencing difficulty and hardship due to to the pandemic. I want to remember them. Some are unable to work, which obviously means um, uh, worry, perhaps, about income. Uh, There are those who are just struggling with isolation and loneliness. Um, There are those just kind of wrestling through, you know, significant change in daily activities and, and their schedule. And so I, I'm quite certain many of you know someone in a category like that or who has been affected in another way. And I just want to take time to uh, pray for those who are affected in, in other ways as well. Let's pray. Our next few uh, topics of prayer are are going to be uh, quite specific. Uh, I'd like to take some time and and especially pray for uh, healthcare providers, uh, whether that be uh, global, national, or uh, on the local scene. Uh, I'm sure many of you um, know someone who is a healthcare provider. We have some in our church body here, and um, They just need our prayers during this uh, season that might be especially uh, difficult or stressful uh, for them. I think about D.L. Moody, 
who um, spent some time serving as a chaplain uh, during the Civil War in our country. And, um, you know, just on the front lines, and, and I, I think about these healthcare providers just being on the front lines of, of this pandemic and uh, just pray not only for their health, obviously, and, and just their families, and um, but they would, that like Moody, that they would be um, salt and light, that the those who know you, uh, Jesus, who know Christ as Savior, would just shine with the gospel during this time. Let's pray for these uh, health care providers, please. Just a few more topics I'd like us to pray over tonight. Thank you so much for, for joining us in prayer. Um, it's important that we pray for our governing leaders. First Timothy 2 says, I urge that prayers be made for kings and all who are in high positions. And so would you just take a few minutes here, please, to pray for um, our local leaders, whatever community you're listening from, for me, it's Tama Toledo, just our, our local leaders, um, state leaders. For us, Governor Reynolds here in Iowa and, and uh, leaders in Des Moines, and of course, our um, national governing leaders in, in Washington. Let's pray for their wisdom and discernment to make um, right decisions, godly decisions, good decisions in a time where that must be uh, very difficult to know what to do. Can, can we just ask that the Lord would give them a spirit of wisdom in this time? Let's pray.
would you join me please in just praying for our church now and for many of us it might be um, new life um, if you're watching and have a church home would you pray for your church um, pray for your church leaders as they face uh, unique decisions uh, concerning the the pandemic and ministry um, I just put some thoughts here pray for one another in the church for those affected um, I thought of our, our public school children and teachers who've just had kind of a abrupt change to uh, to their uh, schedules and, and what they're used to. Uh, for those who cannot get out, uh, who are kind of quarantined at home. And for all of us, uh, pray for your brothers and sisters, for all of us just to walk with the Lord in these days. Let, let's pray. As we uh, wind down tonight with just a couple more topics of prayer, um, this is an area that's, that's just been on my heart a lot this week, um, just open doors for the gospel during this very unique time um, in our communities and nation and, and world. Uh, pray for the local church and the church universal, our brothers and sisters in, in your local church and, and across the globe. Pray for both personal and corporate opportunities to share the gospel, to share the, the hope of the good news of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ for sin. And uh, just would, would you join me in, in praying that the Lord would open doors for his glorious gospel during this time.
This is our last um, topic for tonight. Thank you again for joining us in prayer. I'll come back and close us here in three minutes. Um, I thought we might return to just uh, crying out to the Lord uh, for uh, in His mercy, just His healing hand and an end to the pandemic. Um, however, I'll say this, since this is our last category, if you're with your family or even just by yourself and just you know, want to return to an area of prayer uh, that we've covered tonight, or maybe one that we haven't related to the virus, please feel free to do so. This is kind of our last uh, chunk of prayer. And so uh, either return to something that's on your heart, or would you join me in, in just uh, crying out to God for his mercy? Let's pray. Hey everyone, I just uh, want to say thank you again very much for joining us tonight. I started by saying that uh, the elders just here at New Life have been burdened with the area of prayer during this time. That as we're kind of seeking the Lord as to how you know how can we minister um, to the body and to the community, um, one answer that that just came to our minds and hearts right away was prayer and, and this is just something we need to be encouraging the body to do and of course it's a ministry to those around us as we pray for them so uh, thank you Cur i would encourage you to continue uh, in the spirit of prayer as, as you just saw pray without ceasing first thessalonians uh, on your own and uh, we'll continue to look for ways to encourage you uh, and to do it corporately as well so 
Just a reminder, um, Lord willing, we'll be back Sunday morning uh, with a, a live stream service right here on, on our Facebook page. I uh, hope you can join us for that. Uh, why don't we close with a word of prayer? And I uh, want to thank Josh Toll again for being our AV guide tonight. I have my son Ryan with me. Ryan, why don't you come up? And uh, he and I are both going to kind of close in prayer here. Would you pray with us, please? Dear Lord, um, I ask you to uh, protect the sick and that they will um, heal and that our missionaries and other churches' missionaries will be safe and that they will have the right stuff to be able to um, tell their um, body the word, the Bible, and that they will stay healthy. Father, thank you <clears throat> for this time to pray. We offer our praise to you again as we close. Thank you for being the God who sees us, the God who heals, the God who is mindful of man. Thank you for being our Savior. And we glorify the name of Jesus tonight, the only name given to us by which we must be saved, the way, the truth, and the life. In his name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Good night, everybody.